show scheduled? I'm not telling you. <laughs> You'll know last minute. They're like pop-up shows. So. Where were my shows scheduled? I don't know who you are. It's the people that have been calling guys, every single venue that I, I go to, but they they have a fucking reckoning coming upon them. A, a reckoning. I hope that guy has enough money to fucking beat me in court. Hey guys, X is a um, YouTube account that, that burns Bibles and gets accepted donations from my family to be the MVP. Um, and uh, these people all have lawsuits coming from them, from not just me. Was tripping and laughing out. Yeah, I was. But my fans are so fucking amazing. Like every single donut that you guys have going on right now, I have a lot of smear campaigns going on right now to where people are trying to interfere with my shows and all that. So defamation lawsuits are going to cause cease and desist, all this kind of stuff. So. Uh, hey, Aaron, you love your music. Me? Face blowing a kiss. All of the uh, donations and stuff, you know, like I'm not on tour right now because of this smear campaign. So, and so I have to take, I have to invest over twenty five thousand uh, dollars for attorneys, and there, and there's a, a couple other people doing it too who are attacking the same people because the same people are doing it to other people. So they're gonna get really fucked up. These beats are so many. I made all of this beat. I made all of this beat, LD. Every little asset. I'm not gonna go into my sh session and prove to you. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put you on timeout. Maybe you'll learn your lesson because you act like a little kid. All right? And nobody's allowed to see your message. What's poppin'? It's DJ Miss Jetson, and you're here with the Red Cool Leg Podcast YouTube. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. I also appreciate all the love you guys have been showing to my channel. To my new subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. You guys, I thank you. You have no idea how much I thank you for that. If you haven't already, I'd appreciate it if you would like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you ahead of time to those that will do so. I'm not trying to hold you. We about to go ahead and get into it. You know what it is. Aaron Carter, the series here. I keep saying it's coming to an end, and it will because, as you see, court dates, all of those things coming up. I spoke about that in the last video. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and check that out after this video. But, again, Aaron Carter... This video right here is just based on me, a little a concerns for Melanie, but I'm Melanie, I think that's how you pronounce her name, but I'm not going to get too much into it, but just a little bit, and more so, it's a little bit funny how Aaron Carter continues to blame other people for his toxicity and the things that he's done. So in the clips in the beginning, you guys saw him kind of speaking a little bit on Gamble, Gamble TV, he's another YouTube streamer. Um, slash troll. He's a self-proclaimed troll. He says he's a troll. We all know he's a troll. He does things. He does it on his stream. Um, that's actually how Aaron Carter met them. He has a girlfriend. His girlfriend was on one of Aaron Carter's streams. She trolled him enough for him to be like, hey, let me put you on my um, IG Live with me. Then they were on IG Live together. Long story short, then he meets Gamble. Then he gets intertwined into this world of Gamble in the IRL streaming community which is also how he wound up on youtube these guys were youtube guys streamers twitch streamers they do discords and you know they actually thought aaron was funny without really knowing who aaron is which is what i try to show in my videos not to make fun of him which he's really funny in some of the things he do which you'll check out at the end of this this uh video i'll show more clips of him but neither here nor there he ran into Gamble and those guys in that IRL streaming community, and they're a bunch of trolls. And then he tried to implement himself into that community. Of Eventually, one day, or not eventually, but one morning, he decided that he was going to DM Gamble's girlfriend for whatever reasons. Again, Aaron Carter speculate that he takes a lot of pills, he does a lot of drugs. Allegedly, it seems as if he does with, with his... Uh, behavior 
that he shows, which is, again, why he's in this predicament he's in. Anyway, he DMs Gamble's girlfriend. Gamble's girlfriend shows Gamble. Then he gambles basically like you're a snake. I was just trying to help you in this community. Then Gamble starts to expose him, starts to expose him on wanting him to help him um, start a smear campaign against his brother Nick, which he's claiming Gamble has against him. But it's funny that he went to Gamble to try to help get help to start this uh, smear campaign against his brother. Gamble has that information. You guys go to Gamble TV um, on YouTube. Ask him yourself. He he streams, I, I believe, nightly. Sometimes I'm there, sometimes I'm not. I'm not, you know. Again, it's a very troll community. They say a lot of things that I can't agree with, you know, as an African-American woman. I, I get a little touchy sometimes because I get the trolling community and I get it, but sometimes it, it is it can piss you off. But that, again, is neither here nor there. Gamble, go over there. He has all the receipts of Aaron Carter trying to get him to help him with a smear campaign against Nick Carter, who's Aaron Carter's brother. And again, that's why it's funny that he is blaming Gamble for this smear campaign, quote unquote, that he has going against him, which is not true. Gamble, yes, he's a troll. He's an internet troll. But if Aaron left him alone, he'd leave Aaron alone. But at this point, it's just fun to the community for him to do some of the things he's done to Aaron because Aaron gets on and he just does the most craziest things. And so... You know, he intertwined himself with Gamble and they do their troll phone calls and doxing and all those things. They do do they do mess with Aaron a lot when he goes out. But again, that's just something he put himself in the middle of with the energy he puts out there. Because, again, Gamble is a guy from what I saw who just liked Aaron, thought he was funny, enjoyed his trolling. They were probably two of the same kind. But Aaron, again. Wanted to jump in Gamble's girlfriend's DMs for whatever reason. And that was the end of any type of friendship that it can be, could have been built there. Gamble, yes, did talk to Nick Carter's wife, Lauren Kitt. We saw that. Um, You could possibly even go back. I did a video on that a, a few, few videos back. Go back and check all of those videos out um, in this Aaron Carter series. But yeah, uh, Gamble did. But that was after, I, believe, I guess, Nick and Kitt were sitting and saw... Aaron was starting to do some of the things he was doing to Gamble. They reached out to him. Yes, they donated to him. Yes, they gave. They're the one who gave Gamble the text of uh, Aaron Carter texting a 15-year-old girl. And it was his phone. It was all true. This is where all of this comes from. Look, said all of that to say this. Gamble is not trying to start this smear campaign against Aaron like Aaron's trying to say. Aaron just put himself... In the middle of a situation with a guy who is an internet troll, proclaimed, self-proclaimed internet troll. He has fun on the internet doing what he do. Do they take it too far sometimes? Yeah, but at the same time, I believe their kids, they'll get, they're going to get, I don't want to say it like that. Put it like this. They'll, they'll understand in the future that some of the things they do is, they do take it too far. But with Aaron, they're having fun with him because Aaron put himself in the middle of the situation and it's not about having a smear campaign against Aaron. Also, he talks about the uh, because of Gamble and all these people with this quote unquote smear campaign. He's not booking shows and this and that. No, you're not booking shows because you have no music. You're not creating real original music. And you're also out here talking mess about these record labels and all of that. Fine. It's cool to talk mess. And yes, a lot of it, and not a lot of it, because Aaron lies a lot, but some of it could be true. But in his case, it ain't, it's, it, Sony's not doing nothing to Aaron. Aaron just didn't like the deal he signed. If he was a better artist, better person or whatever, he could come out here and really say some things and still be thriving in his career. Basically, he's ruined his career with all this IG Live, all this Insta, uh, YouTubing and getting himself involved in all of this streaming and putting himself out there. He did this to himself. It has nothing to do with anyone. He's not booking shows because they don't need you. They don't even sell tickets. We saw what his shows looked like in December when he went out on this East Coast run. He doesn't even really sell any tickets. So, and then on top of, yes, you do get doxxed by these guys in this community that you put yourself in. <laughs> By just being who you were and you created this energy that is around you. And so, yeah, they call around and do things. No, saying all that to say this, nobody wants to deal 
with the problems that come along with Aaron Carter. And I'm going to say this real quick about Melanie because I did say I was going to um, talk about her. I hope you're, you've gotten this far into the video. With him and Melanie, look, I'm going to say this. If he has a sister, if she has a sister, a mother, a cousin, a friend, anybody who gives a good guy about her, I hope they come and get her out of that house immediately. I watch her. She's always walking up to him when he's on stream, kissing on him. She loves the cameras. She's more so there because he has a little bit of celebrity and following, more so if anything. I think that's why she likes him, but she's always... that. It's the most annoying thing. Like, If he's really working and this streaming thing is his job, you do not have to be there every five seconds putting your face in the camera. <laughs> Kissing on this guy, but that's not even what I'm trying to talk about. What I'm trying to talk about here is, again, if you are any type of relative or friend to her and you really love her, I'd get her out of that house. There's a lot more clips that maybe I'll talk about later on in the week, um, if you guys would like. Where Melanie, she she's, looks really out of it. He looks out of it as usual, but this particular day, I think it was like either Friday or Saturday... He was on stream. She could barely talk, walk. She's laughing at different things. Look, I'm not trying to say, but I'm saying. If, you, if you're following me, you get what I'm saying. Look, I'd hate for him to get her addicted to anything or her to get over there and get addicted and just start to let her life fall in the line of his life because, you know, she's just obsessed with celebrity lifestyle, which he's not that celebrity. That she may think he is or she knows he's not, but she knows she can get a little bit of clout. I don't know what's in her mind, but again, I'm not going to get too deep into that right now. If that's something you guys want to hear or want me to get deeper into and do more research into, I will. Let me know. I'm just saying this. If you are a relative or a friend of her and you really care about her, get her out that house. That's all I'm saying. You saw she was sad on Valentine's Day. I'm showing clips here. And have been showing clips of her being sad. If you were on her IG live, you saw she was like, um, I need a hug. And she put the broken hearts. And she had gotten air or something. But maybe that day or when she expected to wake up and get something, he hadn't gotten her anything. I think possibly after she did all of that, he went and got her something, you know, to make himself not look so bad. Because she made those posts. Look, again, saying all that to say this quickly if you are someone who loves her and you're in her life and she has anyone like that get her out of that house immediately before it gets worse but you guys i'm about to get to these clips here at the end of aaron um these clips are just more uh, another clip of him speaking on gamble blaming gamble for about for something that's not even gamble's fault and it was this is another clip of him trying to play like he's just this real gangster guy like we're supposed to believe he's this tough guy. That clip, I just think it's funny. And it shows the parts of his delusion, which is not funny, but it's funny, you know. But just check out these clips, you guys. I appreciate you guys for tuning in, especially if you stayed around this long. It's the Red Kool-Aid Podcast YouTube, DJ Miss Jetson. P. Know what I would do. Uh, just so you know, I'm still booking lots of shows. <laughs> I'm going to be doing over 150 shows this year. Regardless, I have people who have been working with me forever, for like 10 years. They know who I am. Like, yeah. all of these, like, smear campaign, little crackheads and little, you know, meth heads that are trying to project onto me. Trust me, I know that they are. Um, <clears throat> because they've told me. So, um, and they're just, they're calling all the venues that I'm doing, trying to get me striked. But I already called everybody. I've been working with these people for over 20 years. So, they know. so um, I'm not going to tolerate uh, the stuff, so I have to go to a legal route. And uh, I guess I got to end up in prison once again, along with his girlfriend. Or jail. So... I'm not a pussy, alright? Don't say that shit to my face. Get three feet within my space and see what happens to you, all right? Right there in your neck is gonna happen. Right there. You're not gonna be able to breathe, just like when fucking Thanos hit fucking the Hulk right there and beat the shit out of him. Say it to my face. Get three feet in my face. I dare you. Find me at my next concerts. Popo caller? Yeah, I'll call the police on you too. Yeah, oh, I guess the police have showed up to you guys, huh? Well, bitches, that's what you get. Had a military policeman father. 
right? The law's got my back. Laugh out loud. Hi.